Okay, I'm working on the brakes here on my 2000 Jeep Cherokee. Uh, I noticed that the front brake was dragging, and after taking the wheel off, I could see that the caliper was clamped down on the on the rotor. Uh, so what I figured out was that the two sliders on here, this is the one, I've already taken the other one off here, uh, they were seized. The other one was far worse, and it was a real pain to get out. I already took it out. Uh, this one is, is actually pretty stiff. It's not as bad, but it's it still takes a lot of force to move. So what I'm going to try and do today is take these pins out. And they uh, here's the other one. It actually looks okay. The surface it slides on is, is free of corrosion and burrs and stuff. It's nice and smooth. So I'm going to reuse that. That's okay. This one is in about the same condition. To get them off, you just push one way or the other until you can grab it. You might need pliers if yours are really old to pull them out, but they just come out like that. To get the bushing out, uh, if yours are really old like mine were, you kind of got to take your finger and go around. That's what I did. And just give it a little push to get it to detach from the metal inside here. <clears throat> do that on both sides and eventually you'll free it up enough that you can kind of begin to to get it out and to, and to get it out you kind of want to push it like fold it a little bit can't really see what I'm doing fold it a little bit and then you should be able to to get it through you'll be able to tell as you as you pull it you don't need to pull too hard if you're doing it right <clears throat> Now, if you can get yours out intact, you might be able to reuse them. These aren't bad, uh, except the other one I have has a big focus, has a big split in it. So, for about ten bucks or so, I picked up a little kit, and it's got a set of these uh, calipers, caliper bushings. Caliper slide bushings? Yeah, I think they're called caliper slide bushings. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to clean up, let's get a better look here, clean up this surface here just to get it smooth and uh, put the new bushings in. We'll see how those slide pins work. Hopefully, uh, the brakes start working good. Now, before you go and put these rubber bushings in, you're going to need to clean out these holes because if they're seized up probably what's happening is it's corroded so it's kind of not that it's swollen but the scale is it, it, it takes up more space than the steel that it oxidizes from if that makes sense so this hole actually gets a little bit smaller by because of all this crap and that's what squeezes that rubber bushing and puts pressure on that pin and then that's why it doesn't want to slide very nicely anymore uh, so I've been using a little sanding wheel, or disc wheel, yeah, sanding wheel, I guess. I'm not pushing very hard, I'm just sort of letting it, you know, work its way at, at it. And then having a look with a little flashlight, you know, get a good flashlight, it'll let you see the high points. And then you can kind of work at those a little bit, and that's what it started with. It's kind of tough to see on camera, but it's, it's really rough. And this is becoming really nice and smooth. So I think this is going to work great. Harvey, what are you doing? I find the best way to tell when you've got it all cleaned up is to, you know, give it a, a clean with some compressed air and maybe a little rag to get the dust off. And then just feel it with your finger. And you'll be able to feel... The high points you you can do this with nitrile gloves on too if you don't want to get your fingers dirty and you'll still be able to feel the the ridges and rough spots and I think I've got these just about right just about this guy's got a little rough spot on the top I can feel up here yeah I think that's pretty good. We're going to give that a whirl. You don't want to go crazy. I mean, 
because the the corrosion you're scraping away used to be steel so keep that in mind that if you get rid of all of the corrosion completely you're going to end up with a hole here that's larger than what it started out as factory so you're out of spec so obviously this never going to be perfect but just things to try and keep in mind Get out of the garage. What are you doing in the garage? What are you doing in the garage? Okay, so I've got this uh, well, I've got this uh, silicone lubricant. It's supposed to be good for really high temperatures, so it shouldn't melt and goop all over your brakes if they get hot. I think I'm going to put just a little bit inside these holes. You know, I mean, those bushings aren't going to slide, but maybe just to keep them from sticking to the surface of this, like the old ones were, they were pretty stuck. Maybe that'll help something. Maybe And maybe it'll prevent some of that corrosion. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to use my finger for that. I'm going to use my smaller finger for that. Get a sort of even coating in there. Doesn't need to be a bunch, just a really thin coating. We'll take this bad boy. We'll kind of fold it over. Like how when we took it out, kind of like that. And just kind of feed it in. There we go. Make sure that's seated in there right. This fits perfect. Jeez, that's nice. Now I'm gonna take I'm gonna take some of this goo and I'm gonna put it inside the end here. Maybe I'll put a little more. Just a little more. And take our old slide pin. squish it in there. Okay, so I had both of these installed. This one slides pretty good now. Uh, it's got a little resistance, but it uh, I think it's pretty nice. And I think that'll improve once it lubes itself up with some use. But uh, this side, the other side here, uh, was still really stiff, so I took it out and I just gave it another whack with the Dremel tool. And I think I got it just about where I want it. We can try it out. Uh, one quick tip, after struggling to get this pin in, because these are brand new, the, these ends are really tight. So before you put this boot in the caliper, put the pin inside the boot. And I'll show you what I mean. See, it's a lot easier to get this in here uh, if you just pop it on like that. That was took no time at all. And then I, I even take it a step further and I go a little bit past that shoulder so it's just past this ridge here. And no further, just, just so it's just in there. Then, just like normal, take it, squish the little end up. Oh, I'm not doing this very good. Alright, takes a little bit of work sometimes. These things don't want to squish as much as they can. So anyway, uh, yeah got her in there get it centered so now that this pins already in here man you just got to give it a little push a little push give it give it a push she'll go in there look at that I think that's pretty good yeah so we'll put it on see how it goes uh, yeah that's pretty much it I'm not going to show you anything else here the rest is a basic brake job, so good luck with yours. If you find they're still too sticky after, just pull it back out and give it another whack with your Dremel, or if you've got a wire wheel or something, that'll work okay. Uh, should get it working pretty good. I already did. I already did the other side, and uh, this guy was seized up just as bad as the other, but I can. 
I can move that by hand now. That's great. So once that piston comes back down after I push the pedal when I'm done, uh, that'll sit firmly. But for now, I mean, it's just riding on the sliders and see they're working great. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Very important, don't get this stuff on your fingers.